despite the fact that you just ate a almond croissant. Yes. It looks like you've... But I figured I won't eat much today, so that's yeah. just... By the time I get home, I probably will, I'll just have a protein drink and banana before I get home. So really, today I had a protein drink, a yogurt, an oatmeal, an almond croissant, protein drink, banana, and dinner. So really, the croissant Yeah. won't be too bad. So how much weight have you lost now? About 20 kilos. Jeez. So what's the weight at now that it... I'm around 91, 92, a bit up and down, but I was 111 to start. <laughs> and how much more to go or just... Uh, I don't really set a goal, I just, like I said, I'm still eating, not super clean, but I just cleaned up the diet, started doing cardio, taking the, you know, mental hamster, the Alpha A5s, and people go, oh, they don't work. Yes, they do. It's like... Yeah, just clean eating and cardio could help too, but the A5s also help you burn a little bit quicker and stuff like that. And some people need that little bit of extra hand and stuff like that. So I just find taking them too, it keeps you focused and stuff like that. Heats your temperature up so you sweat a lot more and stuff like that. So anyone that knocks them, I say, if you haven't tried them, don't knock them. And people that know me know I don't advertise bullshit and stuff that doesn't work. So I'm not going to say it works if it doesn't, but... You know, you still got to do a little bit of training, even if you didn't go to the gym, if you take the A5s and just go walking, or if you've got a good labour type job and you're outside moving all the time, they will help you drop some weight. As long as, too, you've got to, you can't go eating pizza, drinking beers, eating hamburgers in Kentucky every day and go, oh, these A5s yeah. aren't working, I haven't lost any weight, so you've got to be somewhat sensible. Yeah, oh, look, and, and I don't want to turn this into a, a product pr mm -hmm. promotion, and I don't have any affiliation with um, with Mentor Hamster yeah. or... Well, I do, um, I think they're one of my sponsors, but I've had many sponsors in the past that have had lots of products and had shit products. And if they said to me, Lee, can you do an ad for this and say it's the best product, I tell them no, because it's shit, I don't like it, and I'm not going to tell people to go buy it if it's a shit product, so... You know, if something's good, I'll say it's good. There's many products that I've had from companies in the past or whether it be a supplement company, clothing, if I like some clothing or anything, I'll put online and say, this is great. People go, oh, you're being paid. It's like, no, I'm not. If I see something I like, if I go to a place and they've got good meals, I have to say, this restaurant's got good food. If I enjoy it, yeah. I'll say it. So, you know, it's not, you know, not all the time you see me post something is I'm being paid by that company at all. And um, back to the, because one of the reasons why I asked you about the, the A5s is, you know, and I'm sure there's other people uh -huh. in my position, some days I've got to sit at the computer all day and uh -huh. I start nodding off and, um, uh -huh. you know, I would actually look at it. It would help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the I'll, other bring, I'll bring, next time I come down, I'll bring you a couple to try, then you can try it. Even the bipolar, I'll give you some scoops at a pre-workout you can try. And the other thing I'd be interested in too, does it suppress your appetite? Because I think that's mm -hmm. a... That's yeah, a um, I find it does. You know, as I get leaner and do more cardio, my metabolism speeds up. And it's like anything, once my metabolism speeds up and you're eating cleaner food because the yeah. food's not high in fat, you never feel satisfied. So you do think about food sometimes. But generally if I'm busy doing stuff once I've taken them, I don't really think about food. It's always probably night time when you're watching TVs when you yeah, <laughs> think yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's... That's when you think about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the calls from the, the cupboard uh -huh. and the fridge. And you go looking for the hundredth time, yeah. hoping to find something you didn't see the last hundred times you checked. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, do you still do your McDonald's breakfast? Or? Yeah, I still have the eggs and English muffin and strawberry jam every day for breakfast. Whenever they even look like, three days ago, was it? I had Kentucky at that for the first time in a long time and actually felt a bit sick. Not sick, but just yeah. It was it oil for like hours later? I'm like, burp, yeah, burp, burp. So yeah, but you know, I still like I said I'm eating. You know, whereas before, like if I'd go to the grocery store, I might go to the grocery store three, four times a week. Before every time I went, I'd maybe <laughs> grab some donuts and stuff like that. Or now I don't grab the donuts. So. It's mainly just cutting out little bits of shit stuff like that, so, you know. 
I still look at the donuts and the nice fresh muffins and now because it's Christmas time they've got those nice puddings and yeah. that little Christmas fruit cake with the white icing on it yeah. and stuff. As soon as you walk in you're like, oh fuck. But I think yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I go to the movies now, like I'd have a chop top and ice cream now and popcorn now I just go and have a Diet Coke. Oh. And maybe that's it. Yeah. Oh. Boring. I know. So there's a little changes. I'm not like going drastic and stuff like that, but yeah, just little things. Yeah. Well, I think one good thing about getting older is when you do eat bad things after eating good things, mm -hmm. you feel like shit, mm -hmm. like really worse than what you did mm -hmm. when you were younger. So if, it's if, easy if eating that shit all the time, you don't notice it. Yeah. Until you somewhat eat, like you said, eat clean. Then when you do have the fats and sugars, you're like, Bleh. yeah. And I brought some of that. Um, ice cream but it's expensive it's like nine dollars a tub yeah. it's only like 280 calories in the whole little tub it's not bad but it just tastes like vanilla or chocolate flavored ice yeah it's not really cream <laughs> <laughs> but you still eat it you're like oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay and i brought one of those box of it was on sale that fropo ice blocks or oh okay it's to be made on vegetable <laughs> not the best yeah, yeah. i guess you know, if you're having nothing, it's better than nothing, I guess, if you do get that. Occasionally, I'd just buy those, you know, like the fruit juice ice pops you could buy. Yeah. If I wanted something sweet. But generally, I don't have it. Like, sometimes Rachel say, just have one. But I'm like, if I have one, I get the taste yeah. for it. That's it. Yeah. Even like chocolate. I don't crave chocolate, but I would like it every now and then. Because every time before, every time I went to the grocery store, it would be like, you get there to check out where the yeah. cherry ripes and the crunchies are 85 cents for a dollar so i'd grab like 10 or 20 of them and go i'll have one a day but i'd have one every time i went to the fridge so i don't buy them anymore but even if i just had a bite of one i'd be like oh, now i've got the taste yeah. i want to go have more <laughs> i'm like that as well so as long as i don't eat it and taste it i'm okay but i'm like you how you got your smoothies i just brought a whole heap of different fruits and frozen fruit i keep in the freezer and Sometimes I'll just throw it in the blender with a little bit of juice and protein powder and that sort of takes the craving away. So, or then at night time or during the day, if I just have that non-fat yogurt and maybe throw some blueberries and stuff in it. So, you just try and, you know, do different shit. Yeah, it's... Um, but the main thing is just keeping busy. Like I said, even if you took the A5 and didn't work out, if you just went for a walk and doing housework even, or just keeping busy, you will lose weight with combined with like i said cutting out a little bit of bad food and stuff yeah well i mean it is by definition a supplement it's, uh -huh. you add it to it it's not going to do it by itself and mm -hmm. and um now people think i haven't lost any weight i've been taking them uh, what do you eat oh, i still have like beer and pizza and you know well <laughs> and so say on christmas morning like will you be doing cardio or yeah. both I'll do an hour of cardio at Christmas morning and train and then go have breakfast where I'll probably, like I said, I know for sure as soon as I have sausages or bacon and stuff, the oil is going to make my guts go bad. <laughs> have a bit of Christmas pudding with custard. So then the funny thing is, like you might eat a lot of shit at breakfast time, but I can guarantee once I've had breakfast, when you've been eating clean, you eat something bad, your stomach bloats up. Yeah, like, yeah. I probably might not eat again till mid-afternoon. Yeah. So really by the end of the day... You haven't really had a lot of calories, it's yeah. just the ones you've had have been shit. Yeah, yeah. So I might have breakfast and then mid-afternoon I might have steak and rice at home and then dinner. So I won't eat junk all day. Once I've had that bit at mum's place, then yeah. that'll be it. If she says take some home, I'll say no. Well, <laughs> I've known you for long enough and seen... Um, um, <laughs> um, Every now and then the wheels do fall, fall off, and when they fall next off... Time come, <laughs> next time I come back down after Christmas... <laughs> hey, what happened? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, I figured, what the fuck, I blew up Christmas Day, I might as well start it fresh yeah, in the yeah, new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's five more days? And it's funny because, um, you know, people were starting to give give you shit in the comments about, you know, when you're putting on weight and, well, yeah. it's shit or whatever, but as I say, I've known you long now, enough. Now I've died it down, am I... Face has changed and cheekbones have come out now. It's Lee's got fillers. He's had face work done. He's had this. <laughs> you can't win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's uh, well. You should. 
You've been doing it long enough to know that. Yeah.